G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo Grouse to see you all again and Wom and Chica to another Rip Roaring episode. Today I'm going to show you gals and guys out there how we do restumping on a house that's existing. Um, so restumping is, or reblocking is what it's also known as, is replacing stumps. And what we've got on this job is a number of stumps that are cracked and we have to replace those as we go. Come with me and ch ch check check, checkity, check check it out. Here is a stump. And there's another one over in that corner there. There's another one just there. And here is another one. If you can see, this one's got a big split in it. And here's a hole that I'm digging right next to it. You have to be careful when you're digging a stump hole next to a stump because the actual stump can collapse. I'm doing it this way because we've actually got stumps in both areas and I've got a jack just under the other side of it. So what I've done is jacked and supported it. Then I'll dig this one in. I'll pull that one out. And hang this one and then that's ready to rock and roll I've filled it with water I've dug it about 150 mil deep and then I filled it with water to soften up that soil a fair bit and that'll make that hole much easier to dig big problem that we've got is this stump over here you can see that's got a massive split down it that was a load bearing point if we go straight up that was a load bearing point from this under pearl and prop just here so what we're gonna do is Put a stump on each side of that, not touch that one whatsoever. Just leave it into place. As long as we're supporting it, the load bearing point's not coming down onto that point load anymore. So we can just put one on each side of it, that's okay. But where the load is coming down, on this stud here, we will put a stump under there also. And on the other side of that doorway, right there, we'll put another stump. Talking stumping, here we go. Here's some more problems that we're finding. This stump here is actually cracked, so we're gonna replace that one under there. Here's another one that's also cracked. You can, that one there is cracked. And that's under the wall there. I've got even more in here. You can see, this one here's got a massive crack in it. We'll replace those in along there. And on top of all of that, this is quite substantial, the amount of what you can see now is the amount of rock that this has if you haven't seen one of my videos on the re-leveling of a house where we get the water level in here um, and start leveling this as we're replacing the stumps throughout the house really important that we get this point done properly and we also need to make sure that we understand what weight points there are in the ceiling and where they're coming down on some of these door jams so here we've got the door jam and we've actually got a weight point and the stump split so we need to make sure that we've got those correct so once the house is all finished and plastered and painted and everything else we need to get this part right now because we're not going to have a chance to get back into it later we're going to put an overlay floor over the entire thing and Obviously the house will be finished, painted, plastered and all of that. So we want to make sure that we get this right. We don't want any big structural cracks appearing. We want doors to be able to swing for a good 20 years without having any work, if not longer, 50 years without any work being done to them. Once the house starts to slip or move and crack, then doors will always end up getting stuck and we don't want any of that. We want to do it properly now. So stay tuned and stay awesome. 